Winnebago Winnie Drop 1780 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This thing is cute as a button, man. Um, the uh, This little kind of teardropish style trailer is kind of becoming very popular here. I don't know if it's a hipster movement or just the, uh, the movement back to being a little simpler or what it is. But uh, it, it's coming on strong and I tell you, Winnebago is showing themselves as a real serious player here. But I mean... You know, it says Winnebago on the side. It's not like they take anything lightly. They've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, I want to mention real quick, the, the unit we're seeing in this video may or may not be the exact one we have in stock. We sell a ton of RVs out of this place. And you can get things like a different interior decor. You can get entirely different skin color packages. There's like platinum, red, blue, champagne, uh, orange even. Or, uh, there, there's a whole bunch of different options you can go with here. So if the you see some pictures of a camper we have in stock with the same model, but it looks drastically different, that's why. So let's get dug in here. First of all, it's only six wide. It's narrow body. You can see around this thing going down the road easily. You don't have to get big extension towing mirrors. Still can't hurt. Keep that in mind. I'm not saying don't get them. I'm saying you don't necessarily have to. Now this is one smooth fiberglass sweep from front to back. So there's no uh, rubber roofing and whatnot. Um, the uh, sidewalls. This is one of the areas I've seen Winnebago really set themselves apart. Everything in their towables, every darn thing, even this teeny tiny little trailer, smallest thing they build, is a true high gloss gel coat. Not just high gloss, but a true gel coated sidewall. So your sidewalls are laminated uh, to uh, you know keep the weight down and butt the structure up. We have really good storage in such a small trailer, really. I mean, it's all comparative, but you see how far that thing goes through. Now, look at, look at this. This is plywood, not particle board, not OSB. So you've got, uh, you know, a gel coated skin. You have a real lumber construction where there is not aluminum, which is pretty much everywhere in terms of the uh, the exterior walls, the, the roof, the walls, the floor, all aluminum uh, caged and whatnot. But now this guy right here is a handy battery disconnect so that your batteries don't go dead on you. But they mount it out of the way so that cargo doesn't crush it, you know. Now we have front and rear corner stabilizer jacks. A lot of smaller campers only have rear jacks. That means that they tend to be a little wobbly on your campsite. Um, the antenna is a, is a step above. That is a, a King Jack antenna. It's a tight, we've been selling that thing aftermarket in our part shop for a long time. It just instantly will get you better reception. They work fantastically. Um, we've had people install them on their own little cabins because it works so well in their trailer. And you see that same antenna used exclusively on some pretty sharp brands like Open Range, whose stuff is not a dollar cheaper. They use a different type of frame on this. It's an HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. It's thinner, stronger. You're not going to have the corrosion problems with this that you would a traditional steel I-beam. Um, now, just little detail things here, like the fact that we actually have, you know, our little sewer hose caddy. It's just in an easy access spot and it locks out of the way. You know, it's just those little detail things. So you don't have to worry about finding storage spaces and sacrificing the storage you do have in this camper for utility stuff. We also have a propane quick connect over here, so if you want to do some grilling, you can. Normally people would say, well, that's on a goofy side of the trailer. But you gotta remember, this thing's so small, it's gonna fit on any campsite. There is no real bad side to the trailer. Look at the shape and the character. This thing's so cute. Um, all of your windows, with the exception of a fire escape window, are jealousy windows, so they tilt open. You can use them in the rain. That's a very cool thing. These cost more, but you get more use out of them. We do still have an outside utility shower. It does connect to hot and cold water. I love the, uh, the not just aluminum rally style wheels, but the fact that we have a little marker, signal, turn signal, amidships right there. That's a cool thing so that you can see where you're going. We even have part cable hookup here. Um, just to give you a quick through, uh, glance around the back here, it's just super clean. These things look super clean. Spare tire mounts under the back, by the way. You do have a spare. Um, full rear pass-through storage. How cool is that in this little camper? Now, not only that, but it's actually uh, even larger on the other side of the trailer over here. It actually has this extra little alcove up there. Every ounce of space they could give you, they did. They, you can have so much stuff packed away in here without actually even uh, you know fiddling with your cabinets. Now look at the full size air conditioner. This is not a small AC. That is a straight up 13.5 air conditioner, 13,500 BTU. The same thing you're going to see on all these big fifth wheels and travel trailers you have on this little 17 foot, 2,700 pound six wide guy. 
you will be <laughs> you could put icicles on the inside of your windows with that thing if you're so inclined and we even have a little black tank flush just to keep things flushed out even have a larger entry handle for easy come easy go um step inside here the fit and finish is unlike anything i've seen in this smaller class first of all let's look at materials i talked about plywood we have real wood fascia you know we just have better stuff and that's that's what i like about this i'm going to point that out as we go here so this model has a big front u dinette the table can fold down into a bed the table is uh freestanding and elliptical so if you want to take this inside outside wherever you can do so i don't know the name of this decor i apologize but remember that the unit we have in stock may not look exactly like this so if you love everything except that fabric whatever i'll get you a different one i might have one in stock um your uh, shades are all a nice pleated shade and they just they have a texture and a print to them they just look good you know they took the even the shades a step above um the uh uh lighting is all led so you have very good quality lighting it's nice and well lit in here you know i, I i'm not feeling like i'm hurting for anything um uh, let's spin around and look at entertainment real quick so your uh, entertainment center over here very easily visible from your front dinette which is going to be your primary daytime position Little detail things like you actually have a power kill for your slide out, so it's not going to accidentally drain your battery and you're not paying attention. This has a uh, the same water heater as your bigger Winnebago's gas and electric fast recharge for up to 18 gallons of hot water per hour if you uh, because you can run gas and electric together. Um, your stereo is all in one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. Throw a DVD disc in here, you get to play it on your little Jensen flat screen below. Both of these appliances are Jensen brand. Jensen's stuff made for the RV and marine type business. It's made to be bounced hard down the road and it's made to not fall apart because that's what this camper is going to go through. They expect this TV to be stored in the trailer when it's winterized. They expect it to be stored in the trailer in the middle of the hot summer sun when you're not running the air conditioner and you expect it to perform. So that's why they build a better TV and that's why they use it in Winnebago here. Every little ounce of extra uh, space they could, they put in here. Um, I looked at this and I'm like, this is a perfect little charge station because you have outlets and whatnot right up here. So you could snake your uh, um, charger cables down behind that TV and have a nice little telephone charge, telephone, cell phone charge. How long has it been since anyone even said telephone? I guess that starts to uh, age me a little bit. Again, we do have the bigger AC in this little box. It's going to work very well. I'll just simply say that. Um, now, a neat thing. They slotted this bathroom door right here so that um, if you uh, turn on that fan, and you can do so right here, you can control your power vent fan without actually opening the bathroom to get some extra airflow if you don't want to run the air conditioner. Now, in a small camper like this, keep in mind, we are camping, not RVing. We have what's called a wet bath. Some folks don't mind it. Some folks don't like it. Just keep in mind, in a small trailer, there's only so many ways you can fit things in here. This is more of a necessity. But just look at the, the way that they even frame in their doors. They actually frame the doors that is awesome i don't know of really a lot of other people doing that and we have a queen bed up front that two adults can actually sleep on and be comfortable we also have a big storage pocket underneath the bed um, we have outlets next to both the bed and the dinette so folks maybe if you need cpap stands or something they thought of that they thought of a place to even put a cpap stand in a little bitty camper um, window back here does not open. This is the only window that does not open, but you are going to be glad you got it for all the light you get there. I mean, look at this. We have, uh, three windows right around the bed, and these are cross breeze windows. Your, uh, woodwork is this gorgeous driftwood color, and your fit and finish on all of your woodwork is just spot on. You know, there, I don't see anything gappy. Nothing looks raw. I don't see, like, a hundred staples holding things together. It is clean in here listen to this it's a real sink it's not a plastic nickel painted sink it's a real satin nickel sink that is so cool and they even left you space back here for like a coffee maker or a blender and those extra little things you want when you go camping you can put some big kitchen stuff in here and you have room for your forks and spoons and knives and flashlights and everything um, we've got a, a little bit larger refrigerator than I expected to see in here. Uh, it even does still have a little uh, freezer pocket in it. So you do have a fridge and freezer. This is convection. You have a convection halftime cook oven in here because there's not room for a normal big oven. And frankly, I don't think a lot of people are going to try to cook a Thanksgiving turkey dinner in here anyway. So this thing 
is slick, guys. It does it all, and it does it all in a lightweight, affordable class from a very well-known, well-respected, well-built manufacturer who's been around for a long time. Just give us a call, because it's not just an RV, it's a Winnebago. 800-256-5196. Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.